Hello again. As you know by now, part of the work of a faculty search committee includes relying on feedback from others about the job applicants you are considering. This includes letters of recommendation, references, and student evaluations. Search committees must be aware of potential unconscious bias when going through these materials. Let's explore what you should know to keep your work as bias-free as possible. First, did you know recommendation letters are often biased against women? Yes, research shows that letters for men are often longer and that letters for women are more likely to mention personal life. Second, we know that teaching evaluations are systematically biased against women and minorities. Keep this in mind as you review these types of documents. Next, it's good to keep in mind that phone or video calls can disadvantage some personality types and might obscure their accomplishments. To mitigate this, provide topics in advance and keep candidate interviews short. Fourth, bias accumulates in a scholarly dossier. Underrepresented groups are less likely to get opportunities, less likely to be cited, and less likely to get awards. Yet, these items are considered key parts of an academic CV. Lastly, as you evaluate candidate qualifications, you should know that you can reduce bias by using a comment sheet to gather feedback from faculty and students instead of requesting rankings or global comments. Thank you.